this meeting, our discussion is about voice in poetry. Voice in poetry or what we call as speaker's mind and emotion motif. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you everyone? Welcome back to Kuliah Technocrat Channel with me Ellie. Then we are going to discuss about poetry analysis. By the way, have you ever heard about these three poems? Ballad of Birmingham. How about this one? Chimney Sweeper. And then how about this one? Ozymandias. And do you know these poems? Who made this poem, everyone? Ballad of Birmingham by Dudley Renda, the black one. And then Chimney Sweeper by William Blake. And the last one, Ozymandias by Phoebe Sally. That's right. So what are we going to do with these poems? Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about these poems, there must be meaning behind of these three poems. And there must be also message from these three poems. And of course, also, there must be voice from these three poems. So, whose voice are they? Let's discuss about voice in poetry. Since, you know, inside of the poem, there must be a voice. There must be speaker who talk about this poem. Is it a voice of the poet? Is it a voice of someone in certain situations in their psychological disorder maybe? Or is it about the voice of group of people who are in a very depression situations, or who are in a very suffered situations, in the war situation, who knows? We don't know. Then how is the way we know about this one? So let's discuss it. Today's meeting, our discussion is about voice in poetry. Voice in poetry or what we call as speaker's mind and emotion motif. So what is actually motif behind of their writing? Why do they create such kind of beautiful poem like that? Or what kinds of motif that they try to criticize something or they try to talk something to the people? So this is the thing that we can discuss on this meeting. So how to know about the voice in poetry, ladies and gentlemen? So these are four points that you need to know to finally decide about whose voice inside of this poem. First, you need to know about subject matter in a poem. What is the subject matter? Later, we're going to discuss it. What about number two? Theme. Then you also need to know what is actually the theme inside of the poem. And then, how is the way actually the poet, the writer, try to write something is by also knowing about the atmosphere, how is the situation. So atmosphere also, we need to know how they write their poem, in what situations they write their poem. And then the last one is by knowing about tone, or also mood. How is actually the speaker's tone and mood while they are writing their poem? Are they talking about their themselves? Or are they talking about other people? Or are they talking about people surrounds them? Or even their family? So there must be about their experience. And remember that when we talk about experience, the experience here is not about the persons who write, but the experience could be about situations or conditions that they feel or they felt during their lifetime, during their activities, during their action, when they met people, when they even observe one situation and they try to create one thing. They try to voice one thing or one case or even one message to the people. 
let's discuss about subject matter. How is the way we can decide about subject matter in poetry? But what is actually subject matter, ladies and gentlemen? Subject matter in poetry is the way as our beginning step, as our first step to know what is actually the general ideas of the poem. It's by understanding every stanza's uh, meaning, by understanding what is actually the message that the writer tried to convey or what is actually the content talk about. So this is subject matter. So the general one, we haven't talked about the specific idea or spe specific even meaning inside of the poem, but this is still about the general one. So what is actually the meaning of general one here? The sample is just like uh, when it is about war, when it is about conflict. So things that you can say that the subject matter of the poem it's about the war, that's all. But then you need to also, uh, what is that, find the keywords about the war inside of the poems written. Whether you can find it from stanza one, about the war, and about the stanza two, is it also about the war? How about the third stanza, is it also still talking about the war? And the next stanza, or uh, other stanza, when yes, the stanza are mostly talking about the war, then you can say that the subject matter of this poem is talking about the war. How about Ballad of Birmingham? How about Chimney Sweeper? And how about Azimandias? So you later on also can find about subject matter inside of these three poems. You can choose which one that you think that it is nice to be discussed or it is nice to be analyzed. Is it about Chimney Sweeper that was written down by William Blake? Is it, or whether is it about Ballad of Birmingham, about one tragedy in Birmingham at the time around 1963 that was written down by Dudley Randall? Or even about Ozymandias, about one situation that we can imagine in what situation and where actually the setting of the place when the poem was created. So this is the thing. Then you can say whether it is about adventure, you can say whether it is about tragedy as general uh, points that we can say it as subject matter, or whether it is about depression or about children exploitation, you can say it as a subject matter. Then you can find a clue. After you find the clues or even the keywords, then please paraphrase it. You know paraphrase? Find the meaning by your own understanding, with your own understanding, with your own statements. Okay? So that's the things that later on you will understand what is inside of the poem and you will understand how actually the way you analyze it. And also you need to know the background of the poem when this poem was created. You need to know the background, the setting of the time when actually the poet was creating this poem. Okay, are they related to the history? Are they related to the social context? Are they related to um, uh, what's the personal issues? Or etc. You can decide it by yourself. So that's subject matter. Find the general ideas from the poem. Uh, as you see on this slide there is a sample from anonymous yeah but the age trap age and youth okay they cannot even together youth is a full of play songs while age is full of care then you can decide from this poem or from this stanza what is actually the subject matter of this stanza is it about the age is it about the youth or is it about play songs or pleasure? Or is it about to be a wise man? You can decide by finding clues from these things up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have you got this point on this subject matter discussion? Let's continue about next action that we can do when you are going to find about whose voice instead of the poem. Let's see for the team, team in poetry. What is actually team? 
when we say about subject matter we say it about the general discussion or general ideas what in theme we discuss about the specific ideas what is then specific action or specific ideas from the poems that was written down by the poet it's just like in ballad of birmingham when you said in the beginning that it was about racism issues then what is actually the theme so you can say that the theme that the issues between black and white okay you can say about the conflict okay the conflict between black and white then there was tragedy that happened in a church of birmingham in alabama you also can write it down it as the points of the specific ideas for your discussions later on as the sample so later you also can find some other samples of poem to find about whose voice actually is it a voice of the poet again or is it a voice of a people inside of the poem but then who are the peoples are they the victims are they the rulers or what then you can literally also decide as the good readers as readers that wants to analyze about it okay and this is the sample uh, for a team just like in Celis Ozymandias. Ozymandias, as I said in the beginning, that it discussed more about certain situations in certain setting of a time or so setting of a place. Then later you can imagine about situations there, about person. Then when we talk about a team, specifically it is actually discussing about someone, a power, okay? The power that just remains something that people do not take it as a very honor thing, but people take it as something that become kind of irony. So later on, you can read more about Ozymandias, everybody. So I hope that you also can understand about the second point of our discussion. First, subject matter. The second one is about a theme. So how about number three then? So this is the third one. To also know about the voice or who is the speaker inside of this poem we also need to know the atmosphere of this poem what is atmosphere i'm sure you know about atmosphere right so the atmosphere will be discussing i mean we are going to discuss about mood and tone when we talk about atmosphere it has correlations with mood or tone okay mood or tone how is actually the mood and also tone of the writer when they write about this poem? Or how is actually the situations, the conditions that is written down by the poet when they try to describe about people inside of the poem? Then you can feel it later on. You can feel it. You can imagine it. Since you have already gotten a theory of imagery, how you can imagine by your own five senses about the kinesthetic, about your audio visual, audio visual, your olfactory, okay, and your gustatory, and also your tactile. Then you can imagine about the situation, you can feel it, you can even taste it, maybe when you read several clues that deal about the taste, or even you can feel how how cool the situations okay then you can use your what is that gustatory okay then you also can feel how actually the bump that was exploded by using your audio imagery how you can imagine that one by your visual if you were in that situation how you can imagine about the atmosphere by your own visual imagery when the writer tried to describe try to describe about the awful situation in the war it's just like um if you have ever heard or if you have ever listened a song from michael hurt we will not go down then you also can understand or can feel the situation how suffer people there then you can feel the atmosphere yeah, where that they feel suffering, but then they still feel in the good spirit, that atmosphere. Okay, 
After knowing about atmosphere, of course, next action is by knowing tone or mood. So, how is do you know about the tone or mood? It's by reading, of course, reading the stanza, reading the words that are resulted by the poet, reading the dictions that they were created. Okay, so after knowing about it and after knowing about the diction, then you can decide how is actually the tone, how is actually the mood, the mood, the mood of the speaker. Remember, the speaker should not be the writer. The speaker could be about the people that are inside of the poem. It could be about group of people in Gaza. When you talk about, we will not go down by Michael Herbst. It could be about people that were becoming a victims in Ballad of Birmingham, like in the Church of Alabama, Church of Birmingham, I mean in Alabama in 1963, in Ballad of Birmingham. So, you can feel about the mood inside. You can even feel the sadness when it talks about sadness. You can feel about the spirit when it talks about spirit. When it talks about the motives that they want to create people's spirit not to give up with every situation. So, ladies and gentlemen, our duty is only by reading it, by understanding, understanding it and also by using our feeling, by using our imagery. So, how is our feeling? Then how actually our five senses could feel it? How is our eyes could respond it? How is our audio also could respond this one? And how is our kinesthetic, how is our gustatory, our olfactory, our, our senses could feel the situation? And I'm sure you can decide it by understanding the meaning from this. So, everyone, I hope that from this discussion, later you can decide whose voice inside of the poem, after you know about the general ideas of the poem, whether the general ideas is about the war, about the love, life, and etc., then you can decide whose life, whose love, whose war, which war, when was it happening? Where was it happening? You can also decide it as also the team specifically. And after that, you can feel the atmosphere. How is actually the atmosphere when you read the poem? Then you can also discuss it as your point of your understanding for your analysis later on. And to decide about whose voice is it then, the last one is by knowing the tone or mood of the poem, not the poet, but the poem inside. Since the poem will be talking not only about the speaker, I mean the writer, it could be about peoples, it could be about others, it could be about someone in marginal situation, it could be about someone in certain Context in personal context, it could be about the war, it could be conflicts, and it could be about anything, social context, political context, and etc. So that's what we call as voice in poetry. All right. I hope that from this explanation you can take ideas to decide about a voice inside of the poetry or inside of the poem. And you can use this one also as your media of understanding to decide how to analyze a poem. So, without further ado, so I hope that you can understand and you can later on also find the ideas from the poem chosen by you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan video pembelajaran ini. Jangan lupa like komen dan subscribe, serta nyalakan tanda loncengnya agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi update lainnya.